Okay, so this is a quick demonstration of how to use the NIST Chemistry Webbook. Uh, so it's quite easy to find, just Google NIST Chemistry Webbook and it'll come up as the first result in your search. Now NIST stands for the National Institute of Science and Technology. That's a government body in America that's responsible for looking after uh, a whole range of scientific standards, but also responsible for providing high quality scientific data. And so the NIST Chemistry Webbook is uh, one of the highest quality data resources available in the whole world when you're wanting to find properties of uh, different fluids and different thermophysical properties. So if we go into the web page, then what we're interested in today is the thermophysical properties of fluid systems. And so when we go into this page, we can see that we can get a, a whole heap of data about different fluids, density, heat capacities, enthalpies, internal energies, and that sort of thing. So, so this data is going to be useful for some of the stuff that we're doing in thermodynamics this semester. You can do a, uh, you can look at a whole range of different uh, different compounds in this, from water through to the noble gases like argon up to uh, refrigerants and other uh, molecules like benzene and toluene and that sort of thing. So today we're looking at uh, we're looking at ethane uh, in our system. So just drop down to ethane, and then uh, we're interested in finding what the enthalpy is at a particular temperature, and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So I'll use uh, temperature, and we've given the pressure in bar, so I'll just use bar, and then I'm happy with these other units, so particularly the energy in kilojoules per mole. I'll look at um, just the isothermal properties here, um, so a range of properties at a single temperature, but you can also look at isobaric at a single pressure, isochoric, at a single density, uh, saturation properties at different temperatures, and also saturation properties at different pressure increments. So we'll, we'll use some of these other features later on in the semester. So if I continue here, I enter the temperature that I'm interested in, and then I enter the range of pressures that I'm interested in as well. So uh, I'm only really interested in five megapascals, but I'll put in a couple of uh, pressure ranges anyway to show what the software does or what the website does. So I've just taken this option off here. This charts the data for you. I just want to see it in the table, so I've unselected that option. Okay, so when you do that, then you get a, a table of all the different properties of, uh, of ethene at 25 degrees Celsius for the different pressures uh, that I selected. So for this particular problem that we're looking at, so the ethene tank example, I'm interested in the properties at 25 degrees Celsius, these are all at 25 degrees Celsius, and at a pressure of five megapascals. And when I go across, I can see that the enthalpy is 15.407 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so I'll just write that down because I need to keep track of that. And now what I'm interested in is finding the temperature where the internal energy is uh, equal to 15.407. So, so at 25 degrees Celsius, the internal energy is only 13.8 kilojoules per mole. So I would expect that I need to increase the temperature to get that enthalpy. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to switch to isobaric properties. So, so I know that the inlet condition is at five megapascals. Okay, so, so I'm interested in a pressure of five megapascals I know that my temperature can't be lower than 25 degrees Celsius, and then I'm going to look uh, up to 100 degrees Celsius, uh, and I'm going to do that in one degree temperature increments. And so now when I look at this, my, my temperature is changing, but my pressure's staying the same. Okay, it's an, it's an isobaric set of properties. And so what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for an internal energy that is equal to uh, 15.4 kilojoules per mole. 
So if I scroll down with my system, uh, scroll down the table I mean, then I can see that at 52 degrees Celsius, I've got an internal energy of 15.4 uh, kilojoules per mole. Okay, so, so the inlet, so the final temperature of the ethylene, of the ethene tank, has to be uh, around about 52 degrees Celsius. Okay, so, um, so you'll be using this a couple of times in this course, so make sure you use it at the first opportunity you get with your problem sets. Any trouble, uh, talk to your tutor about it.